Hi everybody, welcome to this very short YouTube video uh, being produced um, on the 3rd of August 2024. Uh, just gone um, half past 12 in uh, midday UK time. Uh, my name is Gavin Holmes. I'm the author of Trading in the Shadow of the Smart Money. And today's um, educational video is entitled VSA Weakness, No Demand in Downtrend, Microsoft. I do want to repeat, uh, obviously, um, read this disclaimer to you. Trading futures, options on futures and retail off exchange, foreign currency transaction, Forex, I'll add crypto in there as well, involves substantial risk of loss. It's not suitable for all investors. Past performance, whether actual or indicated by historical tests of strategies, is no guarantee of future performance or success. There is a possibility that you may sustain a loss equal to or greater than your entire investment, regardless of which asset class you're trading, equities, options, futures, forex, or cryptos, as I've just added. Therefore, you should not invest or risk money that you cannot afford to lose. I'm your presenter today. My name is Gavin Holmes. I'm the author of Trading in the Shadow of the Smart Money and the Complete Volume Spread Analysis System Explained. Um, I've been trading for 24 years, and um, I'm going to show you today one of my favorite setups. In fact, I was taught by the late Tom Williams, who passed, unfortunately, in 2016, who is the inventor of the volume spread analysis methodology. And I'm going to focus today not just on no demand and the downtrend, but I'm going to show you some other things that are setting up for next week and should be very, very interesting. Because in August, you see a lot of people think that there's no trading opportunities. It's been absolutely brilliant in July and August, I think, is going to be better. So I'm not going to be taking any time off in August. I will be doing some live events um, during this month. And I'm launching a new course called Detective Homes Follows the Smart Money. It's a 12 week course. Um, it's all live trading um, and that will start uh, mid August and run till the end of the year. And uh, I'll give you all the details of that course. It's all new stuff. There's uh, a lot of existing stuff, obviously, but there's some new um, setups that I've, I've been working on, which I'll show you. All right, so let's get straight to the chart, shall we? And we're going to use the Ninja Trader platform. And you should be able to see now the um, this is Ninja Trader, uh, which is one of my favorite platforms. I mean, I use other platforms, but this MT5 and Ninja are what we tend to use most here at Trade Guider. And um, the first observation you're going to make it's a Microsoft chart, it's a daily chart. We're using um, Ninja Trader 864 bit, um, which is my preferred platform. And uh, you can see here at the moment, we've got um, a change in behavior. Now, what I mean by that, if you've read Trading in the Shadow of the Smart Money, you're going to realize that I talk about the mushroom. OK, so the market goes up, hits supply, and then it comes and almost like a mushroom shape. All right. And now we're right in this area. And I suspect it's going to come down to 370, which is where my, you know, I haven't got profit targets as such. But um, that looks like it's a reasonable retracement. It will be a Fibonacci level, which is something I'm going to talk about in the course. I'm also going to talk about Kagi charts or KG charts, depending on how you know, what part of the world you're in. It's K-A-G-I. Um, very, very powerful charts to give you an idea of what the market's going to do, where it's going to go. That's what most people want to know. You know should I stay in the trade? Um, I tend to not set profit targets. I tend to use trailing stops. And I'll be showing that next week in the webinar that we'll be doing um, probably on Wednesday of, of next week. So let's um, talk about no demand, shall we? Now, this is a very common principle in the VSA method, but it's only really valid when the market's trending down. Now, I want you to know that I get this question all the time. If the market's going up, why do we get red indicators? Why are they just not all green? Well, because we're not charting mathematical formulas. We're charting three things. Supply and demand. Cause and effect. Effort versus result. And we don't use mathematical formulas. Now, what people don't seem to understand, and I'm going to clear it up today, is we don't just chart supply and demand. We chart the imbalances of supply and demand, which is why you get green indicators in downtrend and red indicators in uptrend. They're not wrong. I always say the market's like a snake. It doesn't just go in one direction. It doesn't just go vertical. It goes up. It builds a cause. Then it goes up, builds another cause, builds another cause. There's a spring, right? This is a Wyckoff spring. 
we call it testing the market, but it is a test. But look at the volume. It's very high on that test. It's unusual. But that to me was a buy indicator because it was clearly a markdown closed on the top, next bar up. Had to be buying. Had to be. And then the market changes behavior again like a snake. Up it goes. And then suddenly we get these very narrow spreads just here. You see that supply entering the market, up thrusts. And then I'm waiting. When's it going to turn? It took at least a week before the red, red, red in our system, which is all proprietary to Trade Guider. It's plugged in to Ninja Trader, MT4, MT5, Trade Station, Sierra Chart. It's proprietary. This is what we've developed. And I am happen to, um, to use Ninja Trader 864 because it's got a lot of functionality that the other platforms don't have, which is why I like it. And I have a very good relationship with, with Ninja Trader. And so we're going to talk about a downtrend. So we can see what how do we define a downtrend? Well, in Trade Guider and, and, and in the Smart Center Pro technology, which is what I'm using, we have a system which use, is a medium term trending system. And then we have here the volume thermometer, which is very straightforward. It looks at bearish volume versus bullish volume. Bearish volume is simple. It's decreasing volume on up moves and increasing volume on down moves but not excessive volume. We don't want excessive volume on the down move because that could be buying coming in, but there's no buying here. This is weak. And so the first indicator that appeared as the market changed behavior, the mushroom came in. I got one, two, three, four, a week's worth of red diamonds or dots, as you can call them. I call them diamonds because in the old version of the software, they were represented by a diamond shape, but here they're dots. And the market rallies, it goes up for two days, but look at the volume, right? There's none. It's hardly any, anything professional money, not interested. And we get an indicator here. Now, in this trade guider system, we have um, an educational system. It tells you what's going on. So it's not just a red signal. Oh, I should sell it there. No, you, can, you must read the dialogue box. That's how I learn. It doesn't take much. And I, I, I'm doing some mentorship courses during August and September in the live market, live trading, real money. Show people how you trade this and this happens in the s p the dow that i'm going to show you some of these indicators that have come in over the last week using smart center pro so what is no demand it's an up bar let me define that it's a price bar that closes higher than the close of the previous bar i repeat it's a price bar that closes higher than the close of the previous bar Okay, it's an up bar with volume lower than the two previous bars. Well, it definitely is. Okay, it shows lack of interest as the market rises or the stock Microsoft rises. Study the background carefully. Look at the trend. This indicator works best when there's weakness in the background. Weakness in the background. Okay, and indeed, you see here a green indicator and the market fails. That is a test that fails. So it, it might be green. And if the next bar had gone up and then continued to go up with the next two or three bars higher, then you'd assume you'd get higher prices. But it didn't. It failed. This indicator works best when there's weakness in the background, which there is. With strength in the background, the indicator carries less significance. The next bar should be down to confirm this indicator. In a downtrend, this indicator carries more weight. We're in a downtrend. Here you would expect lower prices. And the next bar closes lower. So when we say a down bar in VSA, we refer to a price bar that's closed lower than the closing price of the previous bar, which we can see on two occasions here. There's the first one. And if you missed it, you got a second bite of the cherry um, at the beginning of the week. No demand. They have different numbers. I'm often asked why. Why just not have no demand with no number? Very simple. Every single rule set in the Trade Guider system has a very slight, it, it's a bit like, to, I'll, I'll use Tom Williams's analogy. He said, Gavin, if you look at an oak tree, and I'm looking at one right now in my trading office in the New Forest National Park, I've got a wonderful old oak tree, must be hundreds of years old in my, in my garden. And um, if I took a, two leaves off that oak tree, they look identical. You put them, they, they're an oak leaf, right? They don't really, they look identical. But now you put them under a microscope. Not that I've ever done this, but this is what Tom said. 
he said, you'll find the structure of the leaves are different. They look the same on the outside, but inside, when you go into the microscopic structure, they're, they're different. It's unique, and it's exactly the same with the VSA indicators. There are about 12 different types of no demand in the system with all different coding and rule sets for each no demand bar. So you get number 146, which is this one. You get 198, 199. But no demand in a downtrend is a very high probability setup. Now, it doesn't mean it's guaranteed. Sometimes you'll get a no demand bar. The next bar will go straight up, and it's an upthrust. I'll show you an example of this. But once you've got this, you can see what Microsoft did. It immediately fell and made another low. And it went down to the old support area here where they tested it. And it almost to the tick stopped. So next week, I'll be doing a live trading session. Obviously, I've got my mentorship students next week as well. And we'll be following this through. Now, I've got some other charts open here that I'm just going to quickly cover for you. Um, and I'm going to put up the Smart Center Pro software. I'm going to show you some of the things that we look for. Now, obviously, the market isn't open at the moment, but we're going to start with E-mini S&P. Now, these are the, the, the charts I'm going to be trading next week. The pound, which, of course, we know there was a bit very, very congested at the moment. We see this in Smart Center Pro. These are the time frames that we use um, in our um, system, which is in my trading plan. And we can see here that we've got over here a trap up move on the weekly. And that's why we had the market go down for four weeks, and then it started to rally again. And then over here, we had supply overcoming demand, which is really why now we could be seeing a nice fall in the British pound. And I'll show you what the chart looks like in a second. Then we can look at the E-mini S&P, much more obvious. All right, it's starting now, and this is why Tuesday is gonna be a key, um, a key area, but there's a very important signal, which is the opposite of um, strength, obviously, it's the end of a rising market precluded by the trap up move. It happened on a four minute chart and I was doing a live demo to a large institution and this appeared and I said, well, the market's now gonna turn. And they said, well, I said, that is the highest probability indicator, number 71, end of a rising market. And if it's precluded, if we see some sort of upthrust, it will confirm it. Now I'll show you the chart in a second. We'll go to the pound and then we'll go to this one. There's the upthrust confirming it. There's a secondary upthrust, and it was all on a small time frame. So the four minute chart came in. Now, we'll start with the pound, okay? And we can see, I'm gonna to go to the one hour chart, and we can see the decline, all right? And then we saw the volume coming in here at the end. We got um, two bars here that are very weak bars. Okay, it closes on the low, closes on the low, next bar down, and then here the same. Very big setup for Monday, Tuesday on this instrument, so watch it very carefully. But the trend is clearly down over here and has been for the majority of the time. And we see the same old signals, you know, the ones that we're looking for in a downtrend. You're looking for signs of weakness. There's no demand again, you see, and it, and it fell. And over here, you can see that we've got no demand again, and it fell. It's in a downtrend. It's in the right place. It's in the right place. E-mini S&P, okay? We'll go down, we'll go to the four minute chart. And it's the end of the day, it's the end of the session, okay? And what we can see over here is that it's in a downtrend, no argument with that. And we can see all the way down here, we've got the end of a rising market signal. Now that is, as I say, probability wise, I'd say it's 85 to 90% that the market will fall when you see it. I have it programmed in to Smart Center that sends me an email when that signal appears, which it did as I was doing the demo. And it was right at the end of the session. It was marked up, but I want you to look at the widespread and then the narrowing of the spread here, or the range of the bar. When we, 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 could, when we refer to volume spread analysis, the spread should not be confused with the bid ask spread, because it's not. It's the range of the bar. So basically, volume spread analysis looks at the range of the bar in relative to the volume. Look at the volume over here, it's pretty average, and then suddenly it shoots up on three bars. The spread narrows. The spread is simply the high and the low of the price bar, that's it. We close near the middle, but the next bar closes lower. Supply has overcome demand. And again, if you missed that one, you've got a great setup over here. Look at that trap up move. 
Now, the traps are just as good as the end of a rising market indicators, and I search for those as well. And if you want to get a demo of this in the live market with me, then just um, email my wife, Laura, L-A-U-R-A, at tradeguider.com and say you want a demo um, in the live market. And um, it's, it, it's only 30 minutes, doesn't take long, and I'll show you how it all works live. Obviously, Monday's a bank holiday here, so we can't do anything Monday. But next Tuesday onwards, there'll be uh, some slots available um, for you to see this running live. But a trap up move is a very strong uh, principle. You can see it here, the end of a rising market here. And again, you can see on this bar here. Oops, let me just go back to there. There it is. And over here. We can see supply coming in and this is supply meaning that the sellers are trying to uh, attack the market and then they do they win and 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 down we go so i hope you've enjoyed this short educational video um that i'm producing for you um i hope you all have um a good weekend obviously next week it's going to be very busy in the markets again if you want to get hold of us the easiest way one of the things we do have if you want to um, immediate answers is go to tradeguider.com, our website, and there's a live chat button on the front page, and we're monitoring it right now. Um, my wife, Laura, is head of sales, um, so she monitors that, which means if you've got any questions, um, she can just shout over at me in my office and I can answer them for you. All right, everybody, um, I wish you good trading, constant profits, take care, good trading next week, and look forward to connecting with you. Um, may your God bless you. Namaste and uh, best wishes. Take care. Bye-bye.